Hi, in this tutorial I'll continue discussing the new features and changes in GIMP 2.8. I already covered some of them in previous tutorials, but I'll continue in this one and probably the next two or three tutorials because we have a lot of new stuff here. Some of it is very useful and worth knowing. And uh, let's start with the brush tool. Now we have the ability to change the aspect ratio, the angle of the brush here from the two options. In GIMP 2.6 we were able to do that but by creating a new brush in the brush editor and now we can change this from here very quickly and easily. So let's select this star brush for example, change the size to something bigger, click here and if I change the angle a little bit you see how the brush changes. Also we can change the aspect ratio you see how this works. We can also uh, now reset each of these separately. In GIMP 2.6 we can only reset the entire two tools options. Of course these work uh, differently for every brush. For example if I select this circle brush and reset these you see how it looks by default. And if I change the aspect ratio you see how this brush looks. Maybe I can change the angle a little bit you see how this works. I'll click the delete key to get rid of these. Another new feature we have here is the smooth stroke. Let me reset this. If I paint like this without having the smooth stroke, you see how the brush behaves. If I select this and uh, increase the quality, also the weight, you see how the brush behaves now. Another useful feature that's been missing from GIMP and now it's here. Again, let's click the delete key to get rid of these and jump to the crop tool. We have two new rules here, uh, ru uh, actually two new guides, rule of fifths. You see how that works, escape to, to escape the crop. And another new is diagonal lines. You see how this looks. Another new feature in GIMP. Now let's jump to the text tool. Now we have the ability to change the language. Uh, we don't have a drop down menu, but you can type, for example, let's say for French. You can select French and then um, choose the appropriate font. Let's say Russian. You can select any language you want. Now a big change in the text tool is that now we don't edit the text in a separate window we edit the text in on canvas let's write something random here like this we can change the color of the selected text let's say to red here we can also change the size we can let's say underline it or strike through like this and this option here will allow you to um, clear the style of the text and return it to the default state. So if I select all this and click here, I will not delete the text but just remove the changes that I made. The colors, the size, the strikes here. Let's click that. You see how this works. Now this here changes the baseline of the text. You see how this works. We can make it negative if you like. This one changed the kerning of the text. Now you can use the Alt and uh, your arrows. Click and hold down the Alt key and use the right and left arrow to change the kerning. And if you want to change the baseline, is the up and down arrow, like this. Keyboard shortcuts. Something that I, I don't like in this new on canvas editing is this one here. We have the ability to change the font but we don't have a drop down menu so I have to actually write something here to get fonts. So this is kind of a thing that is missing here, the ability to select from a drop down menu. And uh, some other change, big change. Now text along path has been moved here. You have to uh, right click and you'll see text along path. It's here, you can find it in the tools options. Also, if you click the discard, text information this will change the text layer to 
a normal layer you see how this works you can also find these options here in the layer menu so that's it for this tutorial like i said there are a lot of new changes and new features so it's going to take some tutorials to cover most of them so i'll continue in the next now bye for now